Okay, it is seven o'clock. We'll start now. Okay, last class. Whoever uh, whoever has missed last session on Friday, you just please go through the video which we will be sharing today. And for many of you, we have already shared it. Okay, and this is a continuation of Friday session. And we will I will brief out what has happened on Friday, and thus everyone else should be able to understand today's session. So as a brief uh, on Friday, we discussed about what is an application. So we have just discussed about the concept of application uh, that is very uh, general topic, not only related to Pega. So whether you are working on maybe uh, on any technology that may be Java or .NET or maybe anything else. OK, so this is very, uh, very much uh, generic okay, and universal concept. So application, so we are going to learn programming languages or uh, we might be learning some tools. Many of those are meant for application development. Similarly, Pega is also one of those which we use in order to develop business applications. But while working with Pega, there is uh, no need to write any coding. When I say coding, coding may be related to UI or business logic or database none of this we are going to deal with so we will be creating business applications by using pega without the need of any coding so your application what will be there in an application you take any business application any business application is set of functionalities there will be a number of different functional components that will be there inside an application so an application contains functionalities and you know all these functionalities are going to work together in order to process the business suppose if you take amazon application what are the different functionalities that are available in amazon application product catalog is one functionality and product search is another functionality and apart from this uh, we also have other functionalities like cart and checkout payment gateway account creation so like this there are so many business functionalities that we come across when we look at amazon application so like this every business application is going to have some set of business functionalities all these functionalities are going to work together in general while we make the business transactions so pega is used to develop business applications where there will be n number of business functionalities that we are going to create in Pega application without writing any coding. Okay, so application is set of functionalities which we develop by using any technology that may be any technology. So application is going to achieve our business goals. So application achieves our business goals. So the business processing that we wanted to do manually, we used to do it long back manually. The same we are achieving today by using software applications so we used to go to bank and deposit money so for that it takes some time but today if you want to deposit uh, money into your account you can just go to atm and you can go ahead and deposit money there itself through the atm machine that is another facility that is available same thing if we wanted to pay money to someone uh, we have to go to bank and deposit money to third party account but today we can directly transfer from one account to another account by using some third party applications. So applications are going to give us some convenient way to do the tasks easily uh, and even effectively without uh, uh, spending more time and all. Okay, like this, every business application is going to have some set of functionalities. All these functionalities are going to work together. So you can see this diagram just a high level explanation about it so application contains business functionalities see when i say business functionality the functionality may be a user interface functional component or it may be related to database or business logic usually a web application comprises of three layers that is ui business logic and database these three components 
multiple components can be there with the combination of these three. All these components, functional components are going to get executed when we make business transactions. And here you go now, types of applications. Okay, I'll come to this point, but before that, what was being discussed in the last class? In the last class, it was being discussed about Pegarul's process commander. What is PRPC? What is the purpose of Pegarul's process commander in brief? Pegarul's process commander is a software tool which we use in order to develop business applications. So if you want to develop business applications, you can you can use Pegarul's process commander environment. The default credentials to log into PRPC. I'm sorry, this is should be like this. Hold on. So the default credentials to log into PRPC administrator at the and password is installed. I don't know what is the issue. Just hold on. Log in from here again. Just give me a minute. Okay, so like this, you are going to use default credentials and log into Pegarul's process commander environment. So this PRPC environment is used in order to develop business process management application. In order to develop any application, you can use PRPC. And now, while using Pegarul's process commander environment, we have so many functional components that are ready-made available. Already, this system has functional component. This was the functional component I was showing you since very beginning. Okay, so Friday also I've shown you. There is a functional component called send email notification. See, after we register for a new account on Amazon, we will be receiving one email. So how this email will be received? There will be a program that is being written. Okay, the program is going to make the email sent from a mailing server to our registered email that will be triggered by Amazon application. Amazon application will be integrated to an email server and after registration process is completed, there is a functional component for sending email notification. That functional component will get executed and thus you are receiving an email. Okay, similarly SMS, OTP, all that is one, some business functional component that gets executed upon some registration process like, like that. So if you wanted to develop this type of features, these are very common across a number of different businesses. So you don't need to write any coding or anything like that. So Pega already has this type of functionalities ready-made available within PRPC tool. So you don't need to do it from the scratch. So it can be developed within very few minutes. Generally, if you want to develop this, it may take even two to three months like that. Okay, so like this, Pegarul's process commander environment is used to develop business applications by using its ready-made functionalities. By using its ready-made functionalities means already functionalities are built in, provided, available in the tool. So you should know what functionality is available with which name. See, it is very easy to find out. Whenever you come across a business requirement, so anything related to email, if you search by email, all the functional components that are available with email will be shown up here. So you can find out the one which you wanted. So just when you have a little bit of knowledge, then you will be able to easily understand uh, among these search results, what would be the useful and needed one. Okay, and like this, you're going to work on PRPC as an application developer, where you develop business applications by using its ready-made functionalities. So business applications can be developed without the need of coding by using pega you can develop business applications without writing any coding when i say without writing coding the coding related to user interface business logic and database queries none of these you have to uh, be writing here while working with pega and here some of the functional components their names are being given the predefined functionalities and one more thing here is whenever we are going to log into prpc with default credentials administrator at directpega.com and password is installed. So you are going to be taken to one predefined application. What is the name of the application? Pega platform. Just a few minutes back, I told you. Application is set of functionalities. And now I was telling, I, I, I'm telling you that 
Pega rules process command environment has some predefined functionalities. So functionalities are there inside Pega rules process command environment, which means that Pega rules process commander is also one application. So Pega rules process commander, instead of looking at it as a tool, you can look at this one as a application, one predefined product. Pega rules process commander is also one application and it has so many functionalities which we can use while developing your applications where the application name which has all predefined functionalities in Pega, the name of the application is Pega platform. So Pega platform is the application which we use in order to in order to develop applications wherein which it has so many functionalities ready made it created available and look at here now the document see here and you are going to log into brpc by username and password so what is the technical terminology that we use for this username so that is called as operator id what is it called as operator id so generally we call it as username but in pega we call it as operator id operator id is the login id the login id whatever you use in order to log into prpc that is generally here called as operator id operator id is the login id which we use in order to log into prpc environment to access its applications and then what is an operator operator means a person a person who is going to log into prpc to access its application is called as operator and we need to understand some predefined terminology in pega so the predefined terminology in pega is um, did i talk about this before okay i think no so this is what we have done on friday so friday i was explaining about what is prpc and uh, what is this default credentials what do you call and what is an application so now we are going to look at the next things like types of applications next we are going to discuss about types of applications this is very generic this is also not only related to pega it is very general whether you are working on any technology this is a common and universal concept see whenever we wanted to develop business applications whenever we wanted to develop business applications then you would be developing one application usually for your business application okay suppose you want amazon you develop amazon application for product purchase sales orders tracking all these functionalities will be there inside a major application see the usual practice as a best practice we are not going to create only one application the a minimum of two applications we would be creating how many minimum two applications we would be creating see whenever you are going to work on business application creation then it is a best practice that you would be creating minimum two applications so what are these two applications these are two categories of applications what are these two categories of applications the applications that you that you create are two different categories of applications minimum and the first one is framework application framework application and the second one is implementation application first one is framework application and the second one is implementation application so what is this type of application why we need two applications and what functionalities will be there in these two applications we need to understand okay everyone clear so far so how many types of applications will be there there will be two types of applications in general that is the universal concept one is framework application and the second one is implementation application so what is the need of creating this and what will be there inside framework application and what will be there inside implementation application see whether it is a framework application or implementation application both are applications in general so what did we discuss an application contains functionalities so in the frame inside framework application you have business functionalities as well as inside implementation application also you have business uh, functionalities so whether it is a framework application or implementation application both the applications are going to have business functionalities then what type of business functionalities will be there 
inside this application then we are going to discuss about this so consider an insurance application where core insurance is a business see like we wanted to create one business application in order to provide insurance policies to the customers so our business is insurance business so we have to create an application called insurance policy processing system so we would be creating core insurance application so what are the different types of insurances that we can provide so let's say for example you you can provide auto insurance you can provide health insurance auto means vehicles so we can provide vehicle insurance we can provide health insurance so in technical terminology in the business terminology we call it as line of business what do you call it you can see line of business lob in short we call it as lob lob stands for line of business so vehicle insurance is one line of business and health insurance is another line of business similarly if you are going to provide life insurance life insurance is another line of business if you are going to provide insurance for home property then another line of business is property insurance like this there are different lines of business will be there in a business system in any business suppose you take loan processing finance there is a financial institution it is going to provide loans so loan is a generic business providing loan and what are the different lines of business that you have in loan processing you will be having personal loans you will be having corporate loans you will be having mortgage loan like this there are different lines of business in which your business is going to operate in which your business is going to operate similarly in insurance also you have vehicle insurance health insurance life insurance like this there will be n number of different lines of business in which your insurance policy processing system should be operated everyone clear online resources you can respond on the charting window so far everyone clear okay yes sir let's go ahead now look at here now see whenever you are going to create your business application you would be creating two different applications one is framework application and another one is implementation application so what contains a framework application what type of functionalities will be there inside framework application see here your framework application is going to have core functionalities which are common for n number of different lines of business so you have different lines of business right for multiple lines of business there can be common functionalities common functionalities we would be creating in the framework application and specific functionalities related to specific line of business we would be creating in implementation application common functionalities inside framework application mm -hmm. and specific functionalities will be created inside implementation application everyone clear so far okay so what are the common functionalities suppose if you take an insurance pr policy processing system framework application is meant for maintaining common functionalities implementations will have specific functionalities related to specific line of business you can see here see in an insurance policy processing system whether a customer is going to take vehicle insurance or customer is going to take health insurance any type of insurance if a customer wants two different customers looking for two different types of insurance there the customers are going to the customers will be asked to provide basic details for that you need a form you need to create one user interface form to collect customer details so customer details is a form which is common common ui functionality between vehicle insurance as well as health insurance so that is one customer form and the second one is address details form what is the second one address details form address details you want to collect what is the billing address and what is the shipping address this is what you would like to collect so collecting this address details is needed both for vehicle insurance as well as health insurance and a generic email functionality so after the insurance policy processing is created and it is activated you need to send an email notification to customer saying that your policy is active 
so on so policy number like this so for this also we need one email functionality so that is very common for vehicle as well as health or any other insurance in future and also a payment checkout screen or pay a payment collection screen where you are going to take the premium amount from the customer this is also a common screen between vehicle insurance as well as health insurance so like this there are some common functionalities which we we need in our business those common functionalities can be used across different lines of business across different lines of business so these common functionalities that we have here we would be creating common functionalities in the framework application and on top of framework application we would be creating implementation applications so these implementation applications can access the common functionalities which are there in the framework application so what is the advantage okay you are creating common functionalities in framework application and you would be creating specific functionalities for example i wanted to create a user interface form in the user interface form it is going to display uh, some uh, okay it is going to ask a request for driver information of the vehicle so whoever is the primary driver and secondary driver so business wanted to collect the driver's information so driver information needs to be collected in vehicle insurance or health insurance which one so in which type of business processing requires the vehicle and driver information to be collected which type of insurance requires that vehicle insurance so we don't need this in driver information screen it is needed only in the vehicle information so in the vehicle insurance only we need to collect vehicle data as well as driver information so this is going to be specific this is going to be specific it is very specific we need this particular type of screen only in the vehicle insurance part not in the health insurance it is not a common one so we would be creating this functionality in vehicle insurance we would be creating this functionality in vehicle insurance then what about health insurance suppose i wanted to collect customer details which are related to health customer health information do i need to collect the customer health information while processing vehicle insurance or home insurance no need that is needed only for health insurance policy process so in this case you are going to use health insurance application you would be creating the functionalities inside health insurance application only that is in the specific implementation application so the functionalities that are needed specifically only for one line of business we would be creating in the implementation applications and the functionalities which are very common across n number of different lines of business we would be creating in the framework application so what is the advantage of doing like this see if you are going to design your application structure to have framework and implementation then the advantage is going to be reusability reusability means you would be creating the functionality inside framework application only one time you create but the functionality which is there in framework application will be accessible to all implementations so on top of my framework application how many implementations i created here two implementations so the functionality that is there in my framework application will be accessible to both implementation applications so inside two implementations i can access the common functionality which is created in framework application so no need to create two times that is called reusability and also easy to maintain easy to extend your business for example tomorrow if i if i wanted to introduce one more new line of business into my insurance business that is i want to provide home insurance i would be creating home insurance uh, implementation application here when i create home insurance implementation application is it needed to create customer form address form email functionality payment checkout all the screens once again do i need to create one second there is no need to create one second you already created all these functionalities in framework application so tomorrow if you add one more new line of business into this then already functionalities common functionalities are there in framework these functionalities can be accessed into 
newly added implementation application in future so at the time of creating or setting up your business application it is very much essential that you need to not only think about today's business you should also have to have some idea and focus about future changes so definitely you we will be optimistic to run our business we feel like our business will be extended in future so when it is going to get extended in future how i can make it easy to extend without the need of creating the business functionalities from the scratch you don't need to create the business functionalities from the scratch so without creating the business functionalities from the scratch you can go ahead and you reuse the functionality which is already present in framework application so the functionality which is already present in framework application i can reuse it everyone clear online resources you can respond on the chatting window or you can respond here by unmuting from your end yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. i am clear ashish okay so I, this is what the structure that we are going to create while we are going to practically work on the business requirements so at the time of working with business requirements if i am going to give you a business requirement to create a new application then you would be definitely creating a framework as well as implementation application as you keep on add new lines of business you keep on add one more implementation on top of the existing framework so the advantages are reusability easy to maintain and easy to extend your business application in future without the need of creating the functionalities from the scratch understand next you can create implementations on top of frameworks if you create implementation on top of another implementation the bottom implementation will act as a framework you will be calling it as a framework you will never do like creating implementation on top of another implementation okay so this was already been discussed remaining things like operator id and all i have already told you so all the predefined functionalities in pega will be there in pega platform so given a business requirement to create a new application you would log into pega rules process commander application by using default credentials and you would be creating uh, like framework application as well as implementation application at the time of creating new application you will come across with different parameters what are those parameters so if i want to create a new application i need to know about application name so what is the name that you wanted to give for your application and application structure what is the meaning of application structure application structure means type of application that is what you call it as type whether it is framework application or implementing which one you wanted to create so first you are going to deal with name of the application and then you are going to deal with type of the application and after this you need to mention about another parameter called organization name organization name and then user id you need to generate user id password for your application once you generate it you will be able to log into your application so all this you can do by logging to prpc using default credentials provided what are the default credentials provided administrator@pega.com and password is install everyone clear so these are the default credentials that we are going to use and what about organization name in general what is the meaning of organ i will tell you about organization structure after the practical is completed but for every application that you create there must be an organization for each and every application that you create that application should have an organization name what is what is the meaning of organization in general just tell me what does it mean organization means organization and the company or some company organization is a company suppose you take a company called let's say uh, tata tata industries tata industries is an organization so what will be there in an organization an organization is going to have different divisions and units organization is going to have different divisions and units every business application that you have that must be related to some organization that must be belonging to some 
organization so here an organization is a topmost business entity what do you call it topmost business entity and whenever you are creating application whether you create framework application or you create implementation application each application should be related to an organization each application should be related to an organization and one more thing let me tell you whether for your business if you create a framework and implementation applications it is a practice best practice both should belong to same organization both should belong to same organization i will explain you about organization structure after our practical is finished so we are going to work on a practical business requirement where we will see how to create a new application at the time of creating new application we all need to make sure that we would be create we would be giving a name for the uh, application name of the application comma type of the application we would be choosing comma and name of the organization for which this application should belong to and for each application that you create you need to generate some operator id and password you need to generate some operator id means login id so that you will be able to log into your application but all this we would be doing by login to prpc using default credentials okay so we are going to work on as i told you already we are going to work on insurance application after that i will give you banking application and other application business requirements to implement so how to create a new framework application how to create a new framework application using pega rules process commander environment so we are going to see how to create a new business application for using pega rules process commander environment so i would be creating a document for the practical and your document will be like this so when i am right okay so so the requirement what is the business requirement requirement is that so create a new business application to provide insurance policy insurance policies to the customers of some insurance company let's say the insurance company is bajaj insurance group what is that bajaj insurance group for this company we need to provide insurance through this company we need to provide insurance policies to the customer so what is the organization here here application is bajaj insurance and organization is organization is a meaningful name of the company that is organization is bajaj okay everyone read. so we are going to work on design and development so new application can be created new application can be created by using new application wizard what is the wizard new application wizard by using new application wizard we should be able to create a new business application whether you are creating a framework application or whether you create implementation application any one of these two the wizard is same at the time of creating framework or implementation is an option okay and when we create new application below are the components that gets created that gets created so what are the different things that are going to get created after you create new application first one you know that application gets created and the second one organization also gets created what gets created organization gets created and third one operator id password also will get generated okay what else will be created there are so many other things that will get created classes etc so many other things will get created we will see other things later so high level application gets created organization gets created and operator id means the login id with a 
password generated will get created and classes will get created i'll tell you what are the classes and all in some time okay let's go ahead and now let's create framework application first what is that framework application so we are going to create framework application now so log into brpc using default credentials what are the default credentials administrator at the pega.com password is install all lowercase install is all lowercase okay here you go now you are going to log in by using administrator password install okay login login to be rbc so i'll give the screenshots like this and once you log into brbc like this so here you are going to put see on the left to top here you can see application this is application menu other things i will be telling while we are practically working on and using application menu in the application menu you have an option called new application using this option it is going to go through new application design so click on application menu on top left click on application menu what is that pega platform and choose what new application this is what we are going to choose here you go with new application so once you choose new application it is going to ask you you wanted to create an application from the scratch yes i want to create application from the scratch click on build from scratch build from scratch <coughs> build from scratch but before we proceed let me tell you one more thing see the application that we are going to create framework and implementation right this would be the structure what would be the structure look at here this would be the structure the structure is going to be like this first you already have logged into prbc right so already there is a platform called pega rules process commander environment i already told you pega platform is also one application by name itself pega platform on top of pega platform you would be creating your framework application on top of pega platform you would be creating framework application on top of framework you would be creating implementation 1 implementation 2 implementation 3 after we create framework application we would be having our framework application created on top of which application pega platform application i will show you that practically so look at here now so clicking on clicking on build from scratch our application our framework application sorry fw stands for framework our framework application gets created on top of which application pega platform application pega platform application so that our framework application can access the functionalities of pega platform predefined functionalities what are the functionalities predefined the predefined functionalities that are already there inside pega platform can be accessed into our framework application the reason being we are creating our framework application on top of pega platform okay i am going to practically do this now look at here build from scratch click on continue so once you click on that you will see two things cosmos traditional and cosmos latest architecture you can go with any one of this no problem you want to go with theme cosmos traditional or you want to go with cosmos react is up to you but with 8.7 version this react has a little bit of html issues so better you go with traditional architecture to not face any issues mm -hmm. click on the first one cosmos traditional So click on traditional 
architecture so i am going to just go with traditional architecture select this and after this it is going to ask you what is the name of the application that you are trying to create please provide a name to the application that you wanted to create i wanted to create an application for bajaj insurance group bajaj insurance group is the framework application name that i wanted to provide so click on advanced configuration click on advanced configuration okay look at here now i am going to click on advanced configuration now so i am not going to proceed directly creating new application i am going to click on advanced configuration you can see here by default by default the application structure is being chosen as implementation application that means without clicking on advanced configuration if i would have proceeded forward okay what type of application i would have got implementation but what is the application type i want to create now is framework so i came here and i wanted to change this option choose application structure to be choose just hold on choose application structure to be fw what is that fw i am going to choose it and i am going to highlight this and give you the screenshot so my application that is going to get created what is the type of the application framework application everyone clear so i am getting a framework application created yes. and thereafter you can see there is a random name that has been generated for organization what is that there is a random name that has been generated for organization for organization so what do we need to do now so remove the random name and type type a meaningful name what is the meaningful name bajaj bajaj so i will remove this and by this time i don't have bajaj organization created now it will get created after i have given bajaj look at here organization name usually when you provide so this will be copied to below also but by default i have given five characters right but what is the how many characters pega is taking out of this only four an organization name can be four five six even still i am typing i am not able to type so what is the maximum number of characters for organization name that you, you can give six only not a too lengthy name for organization that's how pega has been designed i will give only five characters okay are even four also okay so i have provided i have manually typed a name to the organization okay click on save click on save what are the two different changes i have made after i come here just hold up just give me a minute so i have just chosen the application type to be framework and i have given a meaningful name to the organization and then click on what save i am clicking on save so now if you proceed forward an application with type framework will get created now click on create application click on what create application let me click on create application click on create application see this create application is going to take some time see for me it may take 5 minutes or 2 minutes or 1 minute in your case it may even take 10 minutes for the first time okay till it gets finished for me it is done in a minute okay till it is going to get finished you need to wait it may even take for 5 5 minutes for you for while you are uh, doing it for the first time okay now application is created now what is been done application is been created okay application got created you can see here we need to add the user id we need to add what user id so we need to add or we need to create an operator id for the above application that usually you can see here it is asking you to enter an email address so that it will generate the id and send an email but here it won't send email and all because email configurations are not been done for this new application so you need to provide something in the email address format generally so i am going to create this is a framework application right 
I wanted to create a developer operator. I want to create an operator ID with developer access. So developer framework application devfw at the rate bajaj.com. What is that? Devfw at the rate bajaj.com. So this is what the option only one option is available here. You just need to click on add. Click on what? Click on add button. So clicking on add button. It will generate this ID and password also. That red color message you can ignore. No need to bother about it. Now, operator ID got created with a default password generated. With a default password generated. Copy these details to Notepad. Otherwise, you will forget. So once you forget it, it will be highly difficult. This random password and all, it is possible that you will forget. This is done. Okay, we are done with this particular part. What is that? Already Pega platform is there. On top of Pega platform, we created framework application. Now what is pending? We would be creating implementation. So while creating implementation application, where do we need to create? We need to create that implementation application on top of Framework application. Understand everyone clear? So your implementation application to be created on top of framework application. Just click on done. You don't even need to log in, log off. So click on done. Just be in the same, be with the same login. No need to log off at all. So you just need to click on done. Completed. So I have taken the backup of the credentials. I'll take it to even my notepad also. Okay, now this is done. Now FW application is created. Okay, now let's create implementation application. So what is that we are going to create? Implementation application. So create a new implement a new implementation requirement this is what requirement create a new implementation application to provide auto insurance policies so what is the implementation now auto insurance auto insurance is the implementation on top of normal core insurance platform so Bajaj Auto Insurance is the one which we are going to create now. So this implementation application application to be created on top of existing Bajaj Insurance FW application. Already Bajaj Insurance FW application is there. This particular application we have to create on top of Bajaj Insurance FW application. Okay, design. So while creating this application, while creating this application, we need to use the existing organization. What is that? Existing organization. What is the existing organization? Bajaj. So already an organization has been created while creating framework application. Again, for implementation, you don't need to create a separate organization. The same organization which we have for framework, we would be also using for implementation. So we would be doing that now. And here you go now. Again, the navigations are same. So go to application menu. From application menu, choose new application. Choose new application. It, navigation is same like what you have done previously. But in this time, you will additionally see, you are going to additionally see two more screens, which you can ignore to proceed forward. I'll be explaining that later. See here. Now again, the options are there. Build from scratch, Bajaj Insurance Group. See, clicking on build from scratch, your application would get created on top of Pega platform. Clicking on Bajaj Insurance Group, your application would get created on top of Bajaj Insurance Group. So which one we need to proceed with? Bajaj Insurance. Group. Bajaj. So click on, Bajaj. Right, click on Bajaj Insurance Group. Click on 
Bajaj Insurance Group. I am going to click on Bajaj Insurance Group now. So once I click on Bajaj Insurance Group, here you can see. So click on Build with Bajaj Insurance Group. Just you need to click on this button. Click click on Build with Bajaj Insurance Group. Once you click on this, you can see here. You did not see this type of screen while you are creating framework application. So you don't need to bother about this screen. I would be telling about this screen later. We will practically use it. And one more screen you did not come across. This one also you'll be learning in the future sessions. So the two screens which says case type and data type, you just need to proceed forward. Nothing to even think about it. So this you are aware of. What is the application? Bajaj Auto Insurance. Bajaj Auto Insurance. So I'm going to create a new application Bajaj Auto Insurance. Click on Advanced Configuration. Click on Advanced Configuration. Let me click on Advanced Configuration here. So once I click on Advanced Configuration, you can see here. You can see here. Now, by default, what is the type of application? Implementation. We don't need to change it this time because I'm trying to create implementation application only. And you see organization name. What is the name of the organization? A random organization name has been generated. Let's remove that. Let's remove that and choose existing organization. What is the name of the existing organization? Bajaj, which was being created while framework application got created, which was being created while framework application got created. You remove this. See, in PRPC environment, if you see a text box like this with a thick blue color dot at the right bottom corner, that means it is a drop down. You need to place your cursor here and click the down arrow on your keyboard so that you will see all available organizations out of all these available the one which i want is bajaj so i would be choosing bajaj organization for my implementation this option will not be available in the drop down at the time while you are creating your framework application what was the reason it will not be available by the time it was not created this this has got created at when you create framework application just some time back so it would be available now while creating implementation application in the drop down so click on save click on save now click on save and click on create application click on create application let's click on create application now so once you click on create application it is going to create application and ask you to enter the user id and password the same user id which was got created for framework can be used here but i will i will use a different user id here that is operator id developer operator id for my implementation application for the application bajaj. So dev imbl at the bajaj.com. Click on add. Click on add. I have manually typed that. Click on add. So copy this username and password into notepad. Okay, copy this username and password to notepad. So because you need it actually for the letter purpose, it will be difficult to remember this randomly generated password so you you have to have a backup of it otherwise you'll forget it will be sure, I, I have to know about how to recover this password and all that and all you are not aware of as of now so now click on log off click on what log off so log off from default application so what is that we can do now done completed now log into framework application using the credentials got generated yes someone was trying to ask some question what was that uh, why we can use only the developer option can we use other your voice is not audible come closer to the mic speak little bit hello. louder and clear hello yes please why we are using this developer option uh, developer uh, that uh, ID because we want it to work like a developer so we are learning pegarul's process commander to be a developer we need a developer access that's why i'm creating developer operator id okay so we should so use only developer option it's our father yeah we will create other type of operator ids later okay 
so you you are going to log into brbc by using framework id yeah, i don't want to save all this see here once you once you are going to give the default credentials it is asking change the password of the default credentials so that is why i told you you cannot remember the current password so i asked you to copy this that's the reason a new password i am providing rules r u l e s that is the one which i generally use for my every application so click on change password change password it is going to take you to the application the moment you click on why it is asking that's not a problem. change password now this is your bajaj insurance group application where you where did you land so click on top menu look at here click on top menu app studio and choose dev studio i'll explain about these studios later app studio and choose dev studio which is for developers which is for developers so i'm going to choose dev studio and this is for developers similarly we can log into implementation application as well click click on app explorer look at here you will be able to do following the screenshots this is the app explorer so when you click on app explorer on the left hand side here you could see two applications how many applications you can see you click on this what are the applications you see by login to framework application login to fw application we got access we got access to framework application as well as pega platform okay done that is just for your information so we will log into implementation application later tomorrow time is not sufficient now so while you log into implement it, i will save this on my desktop what is our application via application logins so default this is over okay this one i need it for tomorrow so tomorrow i will show you how to log into implementation application where when you log into you can you can do it you don't need to wait for me after you finish your practical today you don't need to wait for me so after this is been done you would be you are going to start working on another assignments related to banking application so you set up your banking application as well for the uh, assignments purpose additional to this project see remember one thing at the time while you are practicing for the first time you do not create directly bajaj insurance you create with some other name at the time when you are practicing for the first time you may create an application by name hdfc insurance or maybe another insurance company names and all once you find yourself perfect in creating this application all the parameters whatever that we have selected here then you create with same name as application and one more thing is you cannot delete an application that is been created so do not ask me any questions related to how to delete application instead of deleting you leave it and create a new application with some different name that's it whatever the name can be you don't need to use the same but you it is better that you are going to use the same structure as me same name as me but even if you are missing that due to some mistake and all you leave it and create with any other name the name can be anything overall structure will match so no need to much worry about it delete and create with complete different name and one more thing is our session begins at 7 o'clock we never wait for anyone class timings is sharp 7 o'clock means it will start for at 7 o'clock for any at any cost we don't even wait till 7 5 or 7 3 for anyone so those who are connecting online you must be available 5 minutes before those who are offline here you must be available here 5 minutes before if you miss first to 5 minute session any day which means overall 1 hour you will it will be gone you will not be able to understand 1 hour okay so it is very very important that everyone should be available here by 7 o'clock 2 minutes at least before okay we will start sharp 7 o'clock for no reason we will be waiting for anyone else okay that is the first priority before anything else so make sure you are going to be available here by seven o'clock and now it is eight o'clock we'll wind up for today and we'll continue login to implementation application
after we log into implementation application tomorrow we are going to discuss about some of the core features of prpc that is organization structure classes inheritance all these concepts we are going to discuss about tomorrow onwards okay so this practical you should be finishing by tomorrow every one of you everyone clear so we'll wind up for today we will continue tomorrow we are not meet around you can wind up you can close